vou abrir o jornal. This is the third LGBTQ plus parade. Speaking with us from Brazil and holding up a newspaper as proof, drag artist Yula Rocard says this is Congressman George Santos. Rocard also shared a picture on Instagram saying Santos, who went by the name Anthony at the time, appeared in drag under the stage name Katara in Brazil in 2008. Let me make this very clear. I work as a drag queen since 1984. I am known in my city, in my states and parts of Brazil, and Anthony was new. He knew about me and started to go to my home because he used to live here in Niterói. Santos is denying the account, tweeting that it's categorically false and a distraction. The Long Island and Queens Republican has positioned himself as conservative, voicing support for Florida's so-called Don't Say Gay bill, which prohibits classroom discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity. Drag Story Hour in libraries is a frequent target of conservatives, but whether or not Santos dressed in drag more than a decade ago may be the least of his concerns. That dog saved my life. I was suicidal when I'd first gotten out of the military. Um, and if it wasn't for her, I would not be here. We've been telling you how Richard Ostoff, a military veteran from New Jersey, says Santos took $3,000 from a fundraiser that was supposed to help his dying dog. Santos denies this claim as well, calling the accusation shocking and insane. The problem with his denials is that Santos already admitted to lying about some things and is accused of lying about even more, from working for Goldman Sachs to being a volleyball star at Baruch College to his mother perishing on 9-11 to his grandparents fleeing the Holocaust. And questions remain about where his recent and sudden wealth came from. He lies about his income. He lies about where he went to school, where he worked. He lies about every item on his resume, and every day we say it can't get any worse.